play. This was the final game of last season. Just now getting around to uh, adding some video recording to the replay. Because at the time, I was just playing on my iPad. And... Actually, may have been may have been on my phone. I don't remember. Either way. Uh, this was the final game of last season. So you could see... Cartman had 9,000 some odd trophies and I was <laughs> like 68, 6,900 pushing for 7k but I ran out of time and uh, this was one of my last fights. Pretty even match I'd say, right? So I wanted to share this primarily because this is essentially what we played against all season. And even so, this season, uh, as of March 7th today when we're recording this, most of my games are still against Sea Dog, Shaman, Necromancer. So with the update though that is coming, I don't know if it's going to be next week. Probably within the next two weeks, I'll say that. I think they were hoping for mid-March. It's going to change Shaman. Shaman will... Uh, still have a chance of hitting or double hitting tiles but it could go to a random tile from what i've been told so there's a plus with that that means shaman won't be as good because there's not a guarantee that it's going to hit one of your units i'm hoping that's the case at least but uh something needs to be done i'm so tired of playing against toxic decks and i'm supposed to have some positive attitude with that but it just isn't as fun. And as you can see in this game, we got Genie. I've got all three spells, uh, or all three enchantments on my equipment, which are Counterspell, or Counterspell 2, I think. Uh, I'm going with Zeus because I feel like Zeus does a great job, not only to level up the units on his tiles, uh, but also to give a boost give that uh, the damage or attack speed boost just prior to the bosses coming out. So, I wasn't too happy about this being my last match. Really not so much. Genie has a great uh, cleanse, which I really had to use as much as possible. You've got uh, Necromancer, which is locking us out. I've got... Um, Shaman that's coming to attack me. We'll double check here in a, a sec with, uh, with his equipment. Pretty sure there is Pocket Curse as well. Uh, and then you have the little fireballs that come from Necromancer too. To burn up your units. So, uh, aside from that, oh yeah, there's also Sea Dog. Sea Dog will also send over the ghost to uh, to stun your units. So there's like five or six things working against you when you play this deck. Uh, it can't last that long. I think this... Uh, we'll, we'll have to count how many waves this goes. But that's another thing with the uh, upcoming update. I believe it is after wave 10. They'll have even more armor for the monsters that you'll be going up against. So games will be shorter. They're all also uh, decreasing, I think, the first four or five waves. Instead of it being a minute 20. Um, right? No, instead of it being 90 seconds, it's going to be uh, reduced down to 60 seconds. Why, why can't I remember? Something. I'll double check that again. But it'll be shorter. That's the short answer there. But as you can see, we are merely just surviving. And I hate when we have to play like that. I really hate it. So let this, uh, let this video be sent out there to everyone to recognize toxic necks. <sighs> toxic decks are just not my favorite. Uh, 
for those of you who are not yet not yet subscribed to the channel if you are watching this video through YouTube it's free to subscribe you can stay up to date with all the, uh, the videos that I'm uploading or different posts that I have on the community page we also have a discord server we got multiple channels within the discord for any of you who are not on discord it's free to create a profile we have a group of people there who are willing to help out with co-op to answer questions to give deck suggestions things like that so become a part of that community and uh help contribute we're always welcoming new people and uh we continue to see the game audience grow which is great we continue to see more content creators too some of those content creators i don't even know yet so it's good to see uh new names popping up and new faces uh, as of today being the 7th, we also have a comment giveaway that will be starting soon. Most likely, I will do that this weekend. So this video, I will probably have released in the next, I don't know, 6 hours or so. But uh, keep an eye out for the post on the community page as well as in Discord. I'll be sure to give the details on that comment giveaway it's just so sad to see so much destruction <laughs> and I really don't think I would be able to get this far with a different deck I mean you can prove me wrong I feel like cultist if you're gonna cleanse it Okay, if you're not using Mermaid, that's what I'm stating. Uh, if you're not using Mermaid, let's say we're using Zeus. Like we are right now. Genie has double chances of cleansing. I mean, you could be running Inquis or something, but like... Unless you're running Mermaid, what other unit allows you to cleanse it potentially twice? As you have so many shamans and flames coming to destroy your units. Pretty sure Genie's the only one. Uh, Demon Hunter, maybe. Demon Hunter, if you're running Cloak of Shadows, there is a, what, 25% chance? It's a 25% chance. Um, Riding Hood, maybe. Riding Hood, if you constantly are eating other units, there's that potential for it to cleanse. Um, but yeah, if you're not running Mermaid... Genie's most likely going to be the best one. Of course, it would need to be maxed, right? The max talent gives it the ability to use that power up twice. But I can't think of another. Uh, I can't think of another unit that that can do that. It's just constant bombardment with shamans. So much coming at us. We got virus coming down, king pudding. Just so much getting getting bombarded here. It's nice too that we can uh, sometimes rely on summoner, use summoner's ability. If a curse comes down on summoner and we need to convert it, then it will cleanse it at the same time. But uh, as I've mentioned in past videos, specifically when playing Necromancer, it is as if you are playing with just the center bottom six tiles because everything else is getting locked out on the outside the border there where the pathway is so the strategy is mainly to keep whatever units you're playing with alive leveled up get them to higher tiers if they are in the center and the bottom that's what you're relying on if you can't do that 
and uh, I mean often you may have a tier 4 or tier 5 and it just gets eaten alive by shamans and they don't cleanse and so it goes back down to like a tier 2 or tier 1 one of the most frustrating things Yeah, you can hit the tier 3 sword. That's okay. Do me the favor. It's the least you can do. So you'll see, uh, it may show it with, with the replay here, but at the end of the match, the season had already ended, and so it didn't even show what the, uh, what the total trophy count was. It showed what the new trophy count was because it was the beginning of the season. So I don't even know what I was supposed to end at, but I don't think we hit the 7k. I was about 15 minutes too short here. I do that a lot. I procrastinate. Just more shamans. What a sad, sad looking board. Okay, well, we're not even to a hundred buffs yet for Genie. That's okay. I think we'll get there. But it's hard to do when you're constantly getting killed by Shaman. Just over and over and over. Luckily, he's got that tier 6 Shaman up there that's really not doing him any good. Unless he can... Uh, no, he can't change his, his summoner. He would need a tier 6 Mime to get rid of that summoner or to get rid of that Shaman. So he's kind of stuck. With, uh, he's got a tier 5 summoner and a tier 5 shaman too. So those aren't helping him out. They're not doing him any favors there. I uh, will have to double check and see what Cartman's crit level is at. I don't recall. I don't think I saw it at the beginning. Um, it'll show at the beginning, but I can't remember because it was a replay here. For those of you who want to catch us on a live stream, uh, I'm almost guaranteed to stream every Sunday, my time at 12 o'clock. Uh, I believe that is 7 p.m. GMT. So between 12 and 2 my time, or 7 and 9 GMT, pretty positive that's what it is. Uh, we're almost guaranteed to, to stream on both YouTube and Twitch at that time. Throughout the week, it is really difficult just with my job schedule and taking care of family. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully, I know I've said this for like the past nine months, but hopefully something can change. Uh, I feel bad just uploading any video. I'd prefer to have some sort of voice commentary uh, or video footage like this just to make a little bit more quality versus just a replay that I'm uploading that you're watching with no commentary. Uh, for those of you who don't listen anyway to what I'm saying, totally fine. But I've had a lot of feedback where if I upload content and there's no commentary, uh, it's just not as appealing, which I get. I get that. But a lot of people just want to watch it for the actual gameplay, too, which is fine. Uh, if you're here for the ASMR portion of just all the sound effects, I'm sorry. I talk too much in these videos. So you'll have to request that specifically. Tell me what units, Epi. I know you've already mentioned Demon Hunter. When Demon Hunter kills King Pudding, I try not to talk during that time. But if anyone else has some sort of uh, preference there, let me know. 
He has fallen off a little bit there. I mean, he's got a tier 7 mime. He was able to finally get rid of that, that shaman, it looks like, huh? But I think he is dead. Yeah. So he took a hit. See how much longer he can survive here. Uh, pretty sure in the actual game, this is where he was saying good game. But it's anyone's game right here. If I can't summon something, uh, I could be dead, but I think he's dead here. Yeah. Good game. So 6,100 crit. Max level cards, 15 necromancer, 9,002 trophies. Max level equipment. Uh, right, left, right for Sea Dog. Left, left, right for Summoner. And then, of course, for my equipment here, we're running Sword. Not completely maxed out everything, but right, right, left for Genie. Right, right, right. All right side for Sword. Right, right, left for Summoner. All right side for Dryad. 8 billion. It's really not that long of a game. But when it comes to this type of toxic deck that you're playing, that's a pretty long game. So, hope you enjoyed it. We'll have more here shortly. And uh, stay posted. We will catch you next time.